Verily I say unto you, if you have faith and doubt not, ye shall not only do this, which is done to the fig tree, but also if ye shall say unto this mountain, Be thou removed, and be thou cast in the sea, it shall be done. And all things whatsoever ye shall ask in prayer, believing, ye shall receive. Matthew the 24th chapter and 1 verse 35 say, Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my words shall not pass away. You may be seated in the presence of God. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my words shall not pass away. My subject will come from that verse. Uh, and amen. Come from that verse. God's word shall never pass away. God's word shall never pass away. Amen. Uh, it, it, we have to uh, 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 put God's word where it's supposed to be. We have to know that it's law. We have to know that it's spoken by the highest of high. It is spoken by the widest of wise. It's, it's spoken by the only sovereign one. Sovereign one who has all power. He's omnipotent. Uh, he's, he's omnipresent. He's everywhere at the same time. Amen. We have to know that it is spoken from someone who is trustworthy, somebody who is honest. We have to let you, uh, you have to realize that it is forever settled into heaven. That uh, no jot, no tiller, I don't care the smallest of the of print, it is, amen, and accurate and it is trustworthy and it is for us to, amen, cherish and to reverence. God's word shall never pass away. Yeah. Hallelujah. We ought to be rest and assured, be an assurance that if I read it in the Bible that uh, uh, I'm okay because God, God, God said it. Yeah. Amen. And, and God cannot lie. It shall not pass away. You know, Jesus said that uh, uh, before he spoke of some things that are going to come to pass, he spoke of some things that are written in the law. And he said, I'll tell you what, everything that's written Amen. Uh, uh, it shall come to pass uh, even before heaven and earth comes to pass. And, uh, it shall come to pass no matter what. Before heaven fails, before earth fails, this word will be fulfilled. I don't care if I if I if I have a disagreement with it. It's gonna come to pass. Uh, it, it doesn't matter if I don't quite understand it. It shall come to pass. Hallelujah. It doesn't matter if I don't reverence it. It shall come to pass. Hallelujah. If I don't cherish it, if I don't put it in the same credence as I put everything, as everybody else word, we have, uh, we can put everybody else word up high up. Amen. We can put it and, and give credence to some of the most important uh, uh, factors in life and people of life. We can uh, cherish the, the, our grandmother words and, and uh, what, what mama say. Hallelujah. I, I know what daddy says. And it's a, it never uh, amazes me how that I can show people, uh, you, uh, people can show people what thus said the Lord, and they will say, Well, grandma didn't quite say it like that. Wow. Hallelujah. How are you trying to tell me? that you're putting God's word on the same level as a, a human being. Amen. As sweet as she is and as uh, great as, as she has been and as tender hearted as she is and as caring as she is and as many wise uh, things she has shared with you over life and over time her words cannot have the same priority as the words of God. So I tell God, thank you. Somebody put God, the doctor's word above God's word. Amen. The doctor's report. Some people put CNN, ABC, and Fox News perhaps above God's word. The Federal Reserves and the politicians. And sometimes people even put the suit sales. Amen. Uh, the palm readers uh, ahead of God's word. Somebody tell God, thank you. Amen. 
Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. God's word shall not pass away. It is written uh, in the book of Numbers, the 23rd chapter, the 19th verse. It says, God is not a man. It's not like men. It's not like man. It's not like man. It's not like perfect. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Man, 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 I wish you watch it, man. Sometimes they uh, intend to uh, uh, do what they say, but then something kind of hinders them from doing it. But they say, God is not a man that, that he should lie. Neither is he uh, the son of man that he should repent. He does not have to change his mind about anything because he's sovereign. He do what he wants to, when he wants to, however he wants to. Without even asking me questions. So I tell God, thank you. Uh, neither is a man that he should repent. The, the Bible says in Numbers 23 and 19, say, As he hath not spoken, shall he not do it? Shall he not make it good? God's word shall never pass away. Uh, incidentally, it was God's word that even made the, the heavens and earth. Uh, all God did in Genesis, Genesis said, and God said. Amen. He can go read this scripture uh, some kind of more uh, on the prayer line. He said, God said. In the beginning there was God. And God said, let there be light. All he had to do was speak in Minister right yeah. And there was light. And God said, God said, let the herd spring forth up. Yielding of his fruit, and let the grass come forth out of the earth. And, and it was so. How I many know what God says that it is so? Yes. Somebody tell God, thank you. Thank you Let me tell you how trustworthy God is. If you look in the book of Hebrews, the Hebrew writer, in the sixth chapter of Hebrews, he tried to explain and he tried to describe just how trustworthy God's word is. In the sixth chapter of the book of Hebrews, he said he made a promise with Abraham. God promised uh, Abraham. He promised him, said to Abraham, you're going to be blessed. And, uh, and, and uh, you, you, your, your, your children, your seed was going to be as the sands of the sea and, uh, and as the stars and the, and the air. God made a promise, even though Abraham was a very old man, and so was his wife, Sarah, close to a hundred years old, if you please. But what God said must come to pass. How in the world am I going to have these many children as the sands of the sea? Because God said it. Because God kept his promise. And God promised you, did God make you a promise? You need to hold on to what God said. No matter what comes your way, you got to know that he said, I will never leave you. I will never forsake you. Somebody shout yes. He said that yet a little while, he that shall come, will come and shall not tarry. God said it. Somebody say, God said it. He said, I'm going away to prepare a place for you. And he said, I'm going to come again. I'm going to receive you unto my sight. I'm holding on. Yeah. 
Now, there was somebody in Minnesota in the 11th chapter of the book of Hebrews, the hero of faith book. And uh, he believed God. I like to say he believed God to the bones. So, yeah. uh, Lord, around the 22nd verse uh, of the 11th chapter of the book of Hebrews. Uh, Joseph was uh, one of Jacob's 12 sons, and, and uh, he was sold uh, uh, by his brothers, and uh, he was sold a second time and ended up in uh, Paul's palace. palace. And uh, Joseph could have got all stuck on himself and uh, started making things uh, better for himself and, and began to focus on his new career. But something kept uh, going around in Joseph's mind. Something God said. <laughs> oh Lord, have mercy. So, so when Joseph reconciled with his brother, uh, Lord, he told his brother and asked a request uh, of his brothers. He said, uh, look at here now. Uh, I know it's been a long time and uh, I know uh, you got old and I don't got old. I know I'm in the Paul's house. I know I'm in Egypt now. But you can't help forget what God told our Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. He told them, get out from among your kindred and we're going to give you the land. Lord, for you to get on it. And uh, I believe God is going to do what he said. So when you go back to Egypt, it's going to happen now. Because God said it's going to happen.
he, he went and didn't see no fruit. The Bible said, Jesus cursed that tree and said, don't let nothing else grow on this tree ever again. The disciples looked around, amen, looked around, they looked around and, and, and the tree was already willing, willing, willing. Hallelujah. He spoke the word and the tree started withering away. Yeah. 